Hey, what's going on, people? Bear Fox here, and welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your Valorant's network connection, get lower ping, lower packet loss, and much better internet connection while you're playing the game. In this video, I'm going to be showing all the important steps that you need to do on your PC. So make sure to watch it till the end. Also, don't forget to leave a like and a comment down below. And with all this said, let's get started. Alright, step number one is using Ethernet cables and this is really important. I always advise you guys to use Ethernet cable since Ethernet cable is a direct connection from your router to your motherboard and that will give you the lower amount of ping and that will improvise the network connection of course there is no reason why you should not switch to a wired connection since it is directly connected to your modem so always go for an ethernet connection i would like to introduce you all to obvison remote a one-stop shop solution for using your pc anytime anywhere using your mobile phone it's available for windows android and ios Avisin Remote has a wide variety of features that can mirror your phone or PC and control it with a virtual mouse. You can even play games on it at up to 144 FPS with a customizable keyboard without any issues. If you need any other layout, you can create it using this feature. They have also recently added the security settings to keep your device even more safe. You can get Avisin Remote for free or you can get its game version to get access to your PC's game library and features to play from anywhere. You can even get up to 40% discount too and from the link in the description below you can get a free 7 days trial. They also have a smart plug that can turn your PC on or off remotely from your phone and it is really convenient and reliable. So links in the description below, go check out Obvison Remote, thanks for sponsoring this video. Step number two is disabling the startup applications and this is also really simple. For that you have to search for startup application on your PC and you will find it right under the settings part. You'll need to open it up and make sure to have a look on all of the applications that are on over here since they are going to be starting up on your PC since the boot. And if you do not want these applications to be opened right after the boot, you can simply turn this off. That is going to reduce the booting time as well as improvise the network that is being consumed in the background when you are playing the games. So it has the benefits both ways. Step number three is the one stop solution if you are looking for an optimal complete fix from top to bottom. I I would definitely suggest you guys to use exit lag exit lag has a list of over 250 games to choose from and it is the pro's choice to get rid of the network problems once again you can get exit lag for completely free from the link in the description below by clicking on this get exit lag button now once exit lag loads up you can see a very simple interface like this you need to enable this button to make sure that exit lag services are running on your pc and over here you will find a list with all the games that are listed over here what you're looking for is Valorant, which you can find it in this list. Select the nearest game region to you. For me, it is Mumbai 01. Click on use the routes within my country first. So if there are any servers of the game within your country, it will start to connect to that server in the first place. An exit lag basically tunnels away from your PC to the server PC and that will optimally reduce your ping as well as the input latency now once again you can see on the bottom right section of this application i am going to get an estimated ping of around three to six milliseconds which is very very low for this game the best part i like about this application is right here in the tools section where you can find the fps boost section you can enable the first third fourth fifth and second last option and that will also improve your fps while you're playing the games once again exit lag is not free to use and you need a subscription for using this application you can get a one month 12 month or a six month subscription whatever you like if you go from the link in the description below and get your first subscription you will get a flat 10% off on an additional 44% discount so make sure to go and choose wisely now step number four is press your windows and r key together and then type in services.msc just the way i have written it over here click on ok and this services panel will open right in front of you what you're looking for is press s on your keyboard and you will find the list of all of the services starting with the name s 
Now you have to locate yourself sysmain or superfetch if you're on Windows 10. And what this does is fetch the application which the computer thinks that you're gonna open next and it will keep it running in the background. Now this will ultimately help you to reduce the opening time of the application but side by side it will start consuming memory in the background and this is also a leading cause of input latency whenever you're playing a game. So I would highly recommend you guys to right click on it, go to its properties and make sure that the startup type is set to disabled and if this service is already running on your PC, I would recommend you guys to right click and click on the stop button and that is going to stop it. That will increase the opening time of the applications. Whenever you open an application, it may take two or three seconds extra, but that will save you all of the input latency and hardware disparities if you're playing a game on your PC. And this is really beneficial when you're playing competitives. So I would recommend you guys to disable sysmain. Step number five is creating a restore point. And for that, you have to search for create a restore point on a PC. And then in the system protection, look for your local disk C or any drive that says system. Click on configure and make sure the turn on system protection is enabled. Then click on create and name it Valorant and then click on enter. Basically, this will create an image file of your PC. If anything happens to your computer and you want to restore or revert anything back, you can always revert everything back to your original settings. Then click on close and close system properties. Step number six is the Valorant network pack by me. I would leave a link to this down in the description below. Downloading and opening this pack up, you will find in three simple files. Now all of these three files are related to your network settings. First one will clean the temporary files and what this basically does is reduce the amount of cache memory in your PC that is already utilized, allowing it to make a headroom for your games whenever you're running it. So to run this file, you need to right click and run this as administrator and this will open up a window like this. You need to simply press any key and it will start deleting all of the unnecessary and unwanted files on your PC in the background. Don't worry, this is completely safe and it won't delete any of your essential data. Right after that, you will find something called increase power efficiency dot registry this will improve the power efficiency of your computer and allow all of the devices and peripherals that are connected to your pc to never sleep in this case your pc won't ever go into power saving mode or automatically disable the devices which are consuming more power such as your ethernet cable and this is really beneficial once again so i highly recommend you guys to run this you can run it by double clicking it and that will do the job. Lastly is the useful tweaks.batch file and you can run this as administrator as well. Now once it opens up, it will start disabling all of the unnecessary features on your PC and it will automatically do the commands that are required to connect your PC to the nearest region, disabling all of the unwanted things that increases the input latency and once it is done, it will automatically close itself and now you will feel the computer is very fast. Now, what you need to do is close the FPS pack, move to step number seven, that is setting your custom DNS as well as some Ethernet settings. So for that, you have to open up your control panel on your PC and then go into network and internet, go to network and sharing center. And right here, if your computer is connected via Ethernet, it will show Ethernet or the Wi-Fi dongle that you're connected with. You need to simply click on this, go over to the properties section and then click on the internet protocol version four. Now you have to click on this use the following DNS server and automatically set it to 8.8.8.8 .8 as well as 8.8.4.4. This is the best DNS server right now for playing any games out there. This is the Google DNS servers and most of the game uses the same DNS server. So once you're done applying this, you can simply close it, go to the configure button and then go over to the power management section and make sure all of these three boxes are unchecked. Then you click on OK and close Ethernet settings. Now, last and final step is the Windows Defender Firewall and your firewall is responsible for allowing your application to request the internet connection. Most of the times, your computer does not allow games or the game clients to connect to internet or any other issues that are being caused by the background services. So you have to search for Windows Defender Firewall and you can find it in your Windows settings as well. Once you're here, you have to click on this allow an app or feature through Defender Firewall and then click on change settings. Click on allow another app, go to browse and then go into the installation location of your Valorant. Now you have to find Valorant.exe, click on open, click on add and see the game was not already added on my PC. And you can see now it is added 
bootstrap packaged game you need to make sure that this application is set to both public and private then click on allow another app go over to the browse section once again go to shooter game then go over to the binaries win64 and add the win64 shipping.exe click on add and it is already added here so uh, it is already allowed then click on allow another app go over to the browse section go back to valorant or riot games folder go to the riot client and also add the riot client services.exe over here and as it is already added on my pc i've already done it so you need to make sure that all three of these files are added here in order to get the lower input latency or packet loss or sticking issues whichever you're facing that will be fixed by this one single step so guys that is the complete way of how you can reduce your ping latency input delay and packet loss and much more so i hope this video might have helped you out if it did make sure to leave a like and smash that subscribe button down below it seriously helps me out a lot we'll see you guys in another video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out